I'm missing ceiling, walls, flooring, the front part. I don't know how much mold is in that wall. I don't know what the plan is. Well, tonight, a Bay Area nurse is beyond frustrated. She tells Eight on Your Side she can't repair the inside of her house until the HOA repairs the outside of her house. Yeah, and this nurse says the damage has been left to fester since Hurricane Ian. So with nowhere to turn, she called investigator Moss Society, and Moss is live with us in studio. Stacey, Josh, good evening. Now, I want you to take a closer look at some of the damage. You can see there's no walls, there's no ceiling. Part of the floor is missing. This barrier in area nurse tells me that her life is at a standstill, and she blames her HOA. Water comes down here in pools. Kelly Roberts feels like she's being forced to live in a construction zone. Even though her insurance company has agreed to fix the inside of her unit, Kelly can't put up the drywall, fix the floors, or the ceiling. She says the holdup is her HOA. To explain, we got to take you outside. The cracks and everything need to be fixed. You can barely see it, but there is a crack in the exterior wall. It was inspected, and according to this report, two months ago, an engineer found the wall was letting water inside Kelly's unit. He recommended, quote, repairs be performed as soon as possible. I was told by the contractors and the water specialists if I was to put drywall up on these walls, I'd be full of mold in two days. Kelly tells me the HOA gave her the runaround. Then the city of Sarasota stepped in. Last month, the city cited the HOA, noting the, quote, exterior wall and disrepair. Right now, nearly a year after Hurricane Ian, and this issue has still not been resolved. Well, who's in charge? Can you give me a number of who's in charge? We called, emailed, and even spoke to one HOA member to press for progress. Right now, the city of Sarasota tells me they're actively working with the HOA to resolve the issue. I get up every morning, and this is what I look at. <laughs> I live in filth every day. This has taken my entire savings from me and my home. My two securities that mean the most to me. And that's, that's the truth. Such a difficult situation for her. Now, once you do get a citation, you have a limited amount of time to address the issue. If you don't, the city will start to impose fines against you and your property. So maybe that's a little bit of the good news. Mm -hmm. The clock is ticking for the HOA. I can't imagine waking up and looking at that every day. How stressful that would be. It's been know? almost a year. Almost a year. So why is it taking so long for the HOA to take action? There? So on the phone, one HOA member, he wouldn't tell me anything. They have not responded to my emails, but Kelly has shared emails from the HOA with me, and they say they are planning to waterproof the entire building at this point. And right now, the holdup is just getting the right permits, but this has gone on a very long mm -hmm. time. Can't yeah. imagine. Patients are running out. Yep. Thank you, Masa. Thank you. If you have something you'd like Masa to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.